Anyone who's familiar with business in Trenton knows you don't have to look hard to find something new and creative. What goes on in this building behind me is new not only to Trenton, but to the entire world. Tom Zaki is Trenton's first eco-capitalist. As the founder and CEO of TerraCycle, he's showing that being environmentally profitable can mean way more than just green marketing for old products. Well, the TerraCycle's been around now for seven years. The entire concept started, I was a freshman at Princeton, and my friends were growing some, uh, some plants in their basement. They couldn't quite make these plants work. And they had started feeding worm poop, which is just organic waste fed to worms, to these plants. And the plants started doing incredibly well. So I got really inspired by this idea of taking garbage, making it into a useful product. And so it all started with worm poop, which was our first product ever. And then from there, it just exploded. Hey, I'm here with George Chevalier, who is the senior publicist here at TerraCycle. And he's going to take us on a little tour and show us what this place is all about. So uh, where are we right now? This is where we got our start here at TerraCycle. This is basically just a room full of swimming pools that we converted into worm poop brewing facilities. <laughs> so we, we take worm castings, it's basically fortified dirt, and we turn it into a worm tea, you know, just dirt, hot water, and brew it, and then after that pump it into those big holding tanks over there. And since most people don't want to handle those worm castings, we turn it into a liquid, liquid formula that has all the same nutrients, but they can easily just spray it on their plants instead of having to touch it. So this room is one of many here at TerraCycle. It's sort of like a, a section of an organized landfill. So we, we separate everything out so that we have soda bottles and milk jugs on their own as opposed to in just a huge pile of trash. And in this way, you know, it's, it's a raw material rather than just a nuisance. So we can take the soda bottles and directly reuse them to package fertilizers and cleaners. And we can take the milk jugs and use them to package granular fertilizers and we can actually chop them up also and make other plastic things with them. Huh? So where have you taken us now? Now we're in the midst of the bottling line here at TerraCycle. And the first step is to take used soda bottles like this and strip off the label. And we actually slip a new label on, put it through this machine right here, which shrink wraps it on there. And then after that, we end up with the packaging ready to go on the bottling line. So all the, the wrapper is done by hand, like putting the wrappers yeah. on and off? Yeah, it's all done by hand. We have a crew that comes in and does it. And then do you keep the wrappers? Yes, we hang on to everything. We don't throw anything away. Good. I'd like to hear that. So what is all this stuff here? These are just big bins of trash. We actually collect them through nationwide programs. So we actually sponsor the, the shipping and everything. People send in corks and ship bags, drink pouches, all sorts of different materials. And then for everything that they send in every unit of waste, we donate two cents to charity. So a school, a church, any nonprofit can benefit from those collections. Uh, something that a lot of consumers aren't aware of is that there's a ton of material. We have thousands of rolls here of packaging, like these Lay's chip bags. Um, Basically, they never even get used. Whether the dye lot's wrong or a promotion is over so they can't use that graphic or they change the ingredients or for any number of reasons, they stop using the stuff. And where they would typically incinerate it in the past, now we're actually taking them from these manufacturers and reusing them. So do you contact the, the manufacturers and the brands and ask them for these products or do they just reach out to you and give them to you? We actually get in touch with their sustainability people and they're usually ready to, to go, you know, when they have some sort of program like TerraCycle's running, you know, it's really, it's really good for them and um, it helps save them a little bit of money too, so it works all around environmentally and financially. So what do you make out of all these? Let me show you, we have some samples in the other room. Cool, let's go! That's really amazing. What kind of other stuff then do you make? I, we're surrounded by it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we, we make everything from school supplies for kids, so backpacks and lunch boxes from Capri Sun. Um, totes made out of Target bags. We have all sorts of cleaning supplies and um, you know fertilizers and stuff like that that are packaged in used soda bottles. We have clocks made out of old vinyl records. Um, you know coasters that are made from circuit boards. It really never ends. Any anything that's trash, we can turn into something. Ah, uh, yeah, a lot of that stuff you wouldn't even think you could reuse and remake into something else. So. Spend two weeks here and you'll change your mind. <laughs> on that. Well, great. Thanks for showing us around. It's been a really great day, and uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for coming out. TerraCycle's clearly showing that going green can have two coinciding meanings, helping the environment and bringing in a profit. And it's all happening right here in Trenton. Our goal basically is to become the new generation of recycling. Basically, solve for every type of garbage out there in the world and to become what people consider recycling today.